Last time we spoke, it was in honour of the fate of the Furious, and you took the mick out of me because I managed to remember Jason Statham's Italian job character's name, Handsome Rob. Yes, but, but I've not forgotten mine. yours. Yes. Oh my god, you remember his name. That was the worst name ever. <laughs> Do you remember my name? Uh oh. What was my name in that film? St, 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 st. I'm out. Stella. Stella. <laughs> I thought you were doing a countdown clock and I was like, st, st. that's really No, hard. I was trying to help you the way I help my five-year-old. St, st, st. It was a hint. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking about right now? Stella. Stella. I will never forget. What was, what's my last name? Oh, snap! I got you again. Sutherland? <laughs> no. I made my own trap How and then jumped in it. How did you Google that and not see the last name? I'm just going <clears> to <throat> leave now. <laughs> Stella. Stella Bridges. Bridges. Is that what it is? I'm now doubting myself. What is it? Bridger. Bridger. See, I, uh, I got on. close at least. Here we go. Now, I bring it up because Jason has said you were the best driver of all of them. Yes, I was. <laughs> Can we get like a Charlize Theron like action driving, driving movie? movie? Yeah, I mean, look, I spent an entire movie in the desert driving, so maybe I've done it. Open your door. Hey, I'm up for it. I love driving. I love driving and I think my advantage to all of the guys in that movie was that I was raised on a farm and it's just kind of part of farm life for you to kind of learn how to drive anything. Usually not a car, yeah. it's usually a tractor or some sort of farm equipment at a very young age. Is it true that you were getting speeding tickets driving home from the set of yes. the Italian job? Yeah, because you get into that mindset that somebody is allowing you to drive that fast for so long and then you get on the freeway and it takes a little adjusting, for sure. Just to be, like, legal. Yeah. All right, team, listen up. This crew is about family, but the game has changed now. Were you fully prepared for the fan reaction to the Cypher Dom kiss? because I've not really seen anything like it. People went a bit nuts. Yeah. Dominic Toretto just went rogue. You gonna turn your back on family? That fire was fueled by a lot of different gas pipes. <laughs> yeah, it was just so crazy to me. I think the most baffling thing for me is that people forget fiction and reality, and then, then movies are kind of talked about in this manner that you know, sometimes can cross a line and I, you know, I'm not trying to sit on like a high chair about it. I had so much fun making that film. I'm so grateful that they asked me to be a part of it. I love that franchise. Me too. Um, but little did I know that um, that kiss would kind of stay for as long as it did. Lorraine Broughton, an expert in escape and evasion. Movies like this, don't come along very often. Yeah. Provisioned in intelligence collection. Let's cut the crap, shall we? Hey! And hand-to-hand -hand combat. When this came to me, it was an unpublished graphic novel called Cold City at the mm -hmm. time. We changed the title, I want to say, two months ago. It's spot on. Yeah, I mean, we made a cheeky, I think, provocative film that suit, it needed a title that would kind of suit that style of a film. You've not done this much action before. You're so good. Oh my God, thanks. There's, there's like <laughs> shots of like 20 beats. Yeah. Where you're hitting what, two, three guys 20 times and that's all in one take. There was a real clear mind uh, into what we were wanted to do and wanted to accomplish. And so from the moment that I started training, that's what I trained for and everybody kind of prepared me for all of that. Every woman should just turn 40 and then they'll find the action hero inside them. It's what happened to me. Now, I've got a quick five questions to wrap things up with. What is your favorite movie memento from all of your films? Um, <laughs> I have one that's a little dirty. Hey, what's that? This incredible artist designed my Furiosa arm and George found him and flew him out and he spent every single day on the set only looking after my arm. I remember something. And um, at the end of the film, he designed one of the fingers for me, but it is in this box. And when he gave it to me, it looked like it was a vibrator. And I was like, wow, I did not know we were this friendly. <laughs> and, um, and he was like, no, Charlize, it's the finger. And I was like, oh, but it's my favorite 
piece that I have, I keep it very safe. But some people are a little perplexed when they see it. They think it's a vibrator. Where do you keep it, though, in your house? In my office. Yeah, no, it's not next to my bed. <laughs> No, it's in my office. It's an incredible artistic piece that I, you know, just kind of brought down into my simple terms of sexual thinking, you know.